The 2022 SEC Championships in Track and Field have officially begun in College Station, Texas. This division is unquestionably one of the most talented and deep group of athletes in all of college sports. And leading the way with his usual top tier performances is Matthew Bowling from the University of Georgia. Now heading into this competition, Bowling is currently ranked number two in the world in the long jump with a mark of 8.25 meters. And he's also ranked number one in the world in the 200 meters with an amazing time of 20.27 seconds, which he ran on January 28th in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Leading up to these conference finals, I fully expected to see Bowling once again dominate the 200 meter distance. However, upon reaching these championships, he jumped into another race, and his performance was once again incredible. In the men's 60 meter dash, Bowling unleashed one of the best starts of his entire career. By the halfway point of this race, he was already significantly ahead of everyone else, and with a finishing time of 6.59 seconds, he won this race by 0.16 seconds, which is a huge margin in the 60 meter dash. This kind of sprinting start marks a significant improvement for Bowling this season, given that he's admitted himself that his start could use a little work, and even though the 60 meter dash is not his primary distance, he can still throw down a super solid time against a world class field. This victory only continues Bowling's undefeated season in 2022, and while this start has certainly improved, I think that the best part of this race might be from 20 meters up to around the 40 meter mark. For the opening 20 meters or so, Bowling is only slightly ahead of the field, but right around the 20 meter mark, he shifted into another gear where he obviously put on more distance over the field. This drive phase masterclass is very impressive, and it's gonna be very exciting to see what he can do moving forward this season. But I think it's obvious that his best race is still either the 200 meters or perhaps even the 400 meters. If Bowling hopes to make the world championship team in the 200 meters this year, he will be facing one of the most talented and deep 200 fields in history, including Noah Lyles, Kenny Benarek, Fred Curley, Arian Knighton, Terrence Laird, Isaiah Young, and many others who are more than capable of dropping times well under 20 seconds. To put it simply, you'll probably need to run well under 19.90 seconds, and maybe even close to 19.80 to make the US team this season. And even though I do think this is the season where bowling finally dips under 20 seconds for the 200, this is going to be an extremely difficult team to make for any athlete. In fact, it's going to be very challenging just to make the finals in the 200 this year. Alternatively, the 400 meters, while still very difficult, may be the event for Bowling this season. If we go all the way back to his high school days, Bowling dropped a monumental 44.7 second 4x400 split during his state meet, which is one of the fastest high school relay splits ever run. This kind of speed represents an amazing skill set for the Open 400. However, to this day, he still has yet to run under 45 seconds in this event. In last year's Olympic trials, the third place qualifier was Randolph Ross at 44.74 seconds, which is still very quick, but it's much more realistic to run this time as opposed to the 200 meter third place time, which was 19.84 seconds by Arian Knighton. It's impossible to say exactly what will happen to Matthew Bowling this season, but for now, this 6.59 60 meter dash is a strong sign of things to come in 2022. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.